the only thing standing between where you are right now and what you want to do is doing it. And so I want to be known for my videos. I want to be an influencer, a creator, a leader, somebody that people can watch and be inspired by my videos. You know, inspire them to take action, inspire them to be better people, be nicer, be helpful, live life. And so I need to record myself doing that and I haven't been very good at it. So today is all about filming myself, doing things. I would say the thing that's holding me back is, is two things. One, fear of being judged while I'm out in front of people filming. So today we're going to go to the gym. We're going to go, um, I think we're going to go to a public place, maybe um, Panera or something, and just set the camera up and film myself editing some things. Um, but the point being, do it in a public space. That way I can be comfortable in front of the camera and just not caring what other people think. Worst case, somebody comes up to me like, hey, why are you doing that? Well, guess what? Now I can put that in the video and it's going to be more interesting for you guys, right? So um, it rained last night, so I'm, I'm trying to clean off the bike. Because I want to take the motorcycle. Hey, Lonnie. So Lonnie's coming outside right now. So one thing standing between where you are now and what you want to do. You bitch, let me get to work. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good day, bro. All right. <laughs> so uh, really what he was saying there, metaphorically, is... Um, don't let people get in your way. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we'll go to the gym and we'll film there, and we'll also we'll also go, like I said, Panera somewhere, film in public, just getting comfortable filming. And uh, there you I have to re-record this part because I literally just got done recording, but my mic wasn't on, so luckily I checked it right away and realized that it wasn't on, but I'm at the gym now. I'm going to do arms today. This is probably the part I have most anxiety for is filming myself at the gym, and I don't know why because I'm very comfortable at the gym. I've been lifting for, oh, since I was, what, 13? So I know what I'm doing, I'm very confident. I think it's just the fact that I'm going to be around people and filming in a public space and I just care what people look at me and think of me, I guess, while I'm filming, but this is good practice because as you see, people are running by. So even right there, my words probably got a little messed up. I probably got a little shy, but I don't know what it is. That's, that's why we're here, that's what today is about. It's about practicing, being in front of people and just not caring that way. I have something to give to you guys because if I let other people get the best of me, then I'm not going to have anything to show you. So, anxiety is good. We're fine. We're alive. If somebody comes up to me, that's fine. I can have a conversation with them and it's probably not even that bad. Our, our fears live in our head and we, we make them way worse than they need to be. So, we're going to do some arms. We're not going to care what people think and we're going to have a good arm workout. I was going to switch up my arm workout because I feel like I do the same machines every time. But this is the first one I found, so I want to do it. So I got 45 pounds on. Ooh, I don't like these. I get these things are trying to keep your elbows in, but they're kind of in the way. So when I work out, I usually do about four different exercises. 
three to four different exercises and I try to go for 12 reps a set. Sorry, four sets, 12 reps per set. I don't know how I feel about this one. It's different than the other gym. That's the other thing I did is I went to a gym that I don't normally go to to make it a little easier on myself to, to film. So, plus I know it's Sunday morning. A lot of people are at church or doing family stuff right now. This gym isn't super crowded. So, again, just making it easier on myself to break out and start filming. I'm one of those people that are like between sets I look around, right? I see what people are doing. So I'm trying to see if anybody's like just kind of staring at me. They're not. It's all in my head. All in my head. Nobody cares. Nobody cares what I got going on. If I can inspire anybody right now, it would just be go do something that you've been afraid to do because of fear of judgment. But it's something you really wanted to do. Just go do it. Just go do it. I don't know why. That felt heavy. That was my warm up. We're gonna have some weight. <sighs> so yesterday I had this weird thing where like, I've been constantly trying to make videos, not for me, but for my clients. And I feel like for months I've been behind. Like I've had all these projects, excuse me, all these projects just piling up and I, like while I was working on them, I was like, man, I can't wait till these are done so I can like do something I wanna do. But yesterday I realized I was all caught up. I had everything that I needed to get done, done. And I remember sitting at home and I was just like, now what? Like now what do I do? I didn't wanna, I just didn't have the motivation to make a video for myself. I was trying to like maybe research some stuff, like how can I get better on certain video, um, like making videos, how can I get better? I did that for a little bit, but then I just, I don't know, I stopped. I thought about playing video games for a little bit and luckily I, I talked myself out of it. I was like, no, I don't wanna get in that habit of playing video games again. Cause to me, it's just a huge, huge waste of time. And I felt like I was having such an unproductive day and I hate that feeling. I don't know what it is about like not being able to relax or not being able to just chill. I just feel like when I when I do, I'm wasting time. Also, I'm not using my phone to record. I'm using a big camera. Like it's a big camera. So that's another thing that I'm like self-conscious about while I'm here. I'll get over it. All right, so I'm gonna do a drop set, which basically I'm gonna do as many as I can with all this weight on. I have 90 pounds on, and I'll take some off, do as many more as I can, take more weight off, keep doing more, until I can't do any anymore. Drop set. Here we go. Get it up all the way. Okay. 
pause. Don't take that out of context. Oh. Jeez. Always put your weights away. Make the place. Leave the place better than you found it. Be a good person. Like, you guys ever hear that people who, like the ultimate test to see if you're a good person or not is like, do you put your shopping cart away? There's no law up against leaving your shopping cart in the middle of the parking lot, but they have all the cart returns. So do you take your time to walk it over and put it in the cart return, or do you just leave it where it's at? Or do you put it up on the grass like some people do? There's no law, it's literally just good versus evil. Are you a good person and do you put it away? I do. So usually when I do arms, I'll do, let me get myself in the middle of the frame. I'll do um, biceps, triceps, biceps, triceps. I'll just switch off like that. So I just did biceps. Now I'm gonna move into triceps, which basically you have a pad here and you're just gonna do one arm at a time, pushing down. So if you're gonna be pushing, you're gonna do, specifically for arms, if you're gonna do a pushing motion, you're gonna work your triceps. If you're gonna do a pulling motion, then you're gonna work your biceps. Just two sides of your arm. Yeah, this, this place doesn't have too many machines. There's a lot of cardio, there's a track. Ah, this really hurts my elbows. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's cracking every time. I'm probably gonna hit the sauna too. They worked on the sauna here and they basically like quadrupled the size of it. So, huge sauna now, plenty of room. I'm probably gonna go in there after this just cause, I feel like I'm running out of time today, but it's only like eight o'clock, probably nine o'clock by now. It's her clock somewhere. I literally have my phone in my pocket, what am I doing? 9.04. It's 9.04 a.m. I have all day. But I already feel like I'm behind. So on business news, I did. Look at this. These headphones, every time I take them out, the earbud, the little thing that goes around it, gets stuck in my ear. Oh my God. Little panic mode right there. Could you imagine that gets stuck and you gotta, can't get it out? <sighs> what is that? 50? All right, boss, should we go? Not too late. Ninety? Is it pounds? So this is not. I know what ninety pounds is. That's not it. All right. I'm not sure what the equivalent is, like the weight, but it's not ninety pounds. That's for sure. This isn't very comfy. This it really keeps your elbows locked in. I feel like I'm not getting full range of motion. I don't know if I like this one. Yeah. Okay. I really don't want to go to Panera. Not because like I'd have to set the camera up, but I don't really have a point to go to Panera. I don't want to spend money, so I don't want to buy anything there. And I can work on all my videos at home, but it's for the sole purpose of getting more comfortable in public. So it's worth it. I do need to go. They just have cookies and stuff there and I don't want to 
I don't want to fall into that. Plus they have the caffeine lemonade. It's a lot of temptations there, so it'll be good willpower for me to go and not get anything. Maybe just some water. You know what I'm craving right now? A Nutty Buddy. I used to demolish those things. Now I really, really want one. This is gonna be my last exercise before going into the sauna and then heading out. Do triceps again, because I just did biceps, and that feels heavy. So let's go down a little bit, 50 pounds. I usually don't do it with the backrest here, which is gonna make sure I only hit my triceps, not use my chest. I'm not as entertaining when I'm by myself. I need Lonnie or somebody else here to we can feed off their energy. I am a people person. I don't come off that way as I'm here. But I am a people person. I love to talk to people. I love having fun, messing around, doing pranks. I just need other people around me, that's it. <laughs> Alright, I have one more set. 12 more reps, and then that'll be it. I did an ab workout like two days ago. I feel it. I definitely feel it. I'm not doing cardio today. I did it yesterday. I do need to see if they have a scale here though because I want to weigh myself and see where I'm at with my diet. My arms feel like balloons about to pop. Okay, okay. Let's go hit the sauna. Let's see where we're at. Sure. Okay. Like that. Like that. Let's take this off. I don't know if it's the mirror or what. I do like the size of my arms in these. Sit this way. Abs are looking good too. So I completely forgot that this gym doesn't have a towel service. So I got out of the sauna, I was dripping sweat. I didn't have a towel. I was like, well, I still got a shower. So I basically been drying myself off with the towels. Just been doing this. But I got most of it and the rest was just air dry. I also got a haircut. I got a lot of compliments on it so far, so we're gonna keep it. All right, let's go up in there. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. My back is like soaked. And my iPad's gonna die. So I'm at Panera now. I am sitting in the corner, but like I'm looking at everyone else. A lot of old people here. But um, I have 30% on my iPad, so we're gonna work a little bit. Um, not really sure on what. Probably just use ChatGPT, come up with some ideas for content. I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely craving something. Mac and cheese sounds really good. I might look up their menu and just see what they have, but uh, again, the whole point of this was to set up the camera and film. And I'll see if I can take some video off my phone just to show you guys what the setup is here. I'm taking up two tables. So, already I feel like a jerk, but it's alright, it's not that crowded. There's plenty of tables in here. But, I got my iPad, and I got you guys set up right there. So you can kind of see, and there's people here, it's just not super, super busy. Just practice. You know, I'm the guy in the corner sitting talking to himself. Is what it is. Usually for my day, like Monday through Friday, I'm working at 6.45 in the morning. And right when I get out at about one o'clock, I usually go home and eat. And then either go to a client, that's usually later on in the week, or I'll go work out, um, which is usually about, it could be one o'clock or it could be like 3.30. So I think I'm gonna start switching up my schedule though because I wanna start donating plasma again. I actually went yesterday. It's nice just to have that money for grocery money since I'm already working at part-time. Um, so I'm gonna start donating plasma again and then I don't know, man. I'm just trying to find the best use of my time. So I don't waste any. Like, the f quickest I can get to doing this full time and paying myself off of this, the better. So, I've had a lot of people ask me why, why not be a personal training? Like, why not be a personal trainer? Why not train people? Because I just feel like that's going to take up a lot of my time. And maybe I'm just making excuses, but like I would rather just film myself since I'm already working out and give that type of, of value to people versus training them one on one. Or again, I was taking a couple hours out of my day. So at least that's where I'm at right now. It's funny because the last video I made, um, where I was grilling the chicken, I'm gonna do more videos like that where I'm cooking or have something on going on in the background because the video was about dieting, calories in, calories out, and like making smart choices. But all the comments that were on the video were like about the chicken on fire. <laughs> One of them was like, I don't know how I got here, but for the love of God, put the lid down or something like that. So, I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious. I do need to grill some more chicken today, but I think I felt some, some raindrops when I was walking in here. I need to, I need to probably head out and, uh, Get the bike home before it starts raining. Plus, I'm I'm super hungry and I don't I don't want to eat here. I do, but I don't. I don't want to spend money. I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you guys for coming along with me and helping me out with my fear a little bit. I'm sure I'm gonna get better. I just gotta keep doing it. Um, I think Sundays. I just stick to once a week. Sundays are gonna be my day to vlog. So for next Sunday. 
we uh, we're actually going to visit our newest client, which is an hour north. So I don't know if JD will be with us, but me and Lonnie are going to go up there. Basically, we're onboarding them, so we we don't normally work on Sunday. At least we don't normally visit clients on Sunday. But this this was just the day that worked out best for them, and we're not going to say no. So we're going to drive up there. Basically, all it is is we're going to be onboarding them, so we're going to be getting their social media information, logins, passwords, website info, stuff like that, and uh, that way we can start doing work for them. And then after that. It's going to be going up there to, to film content for them and everything. So that's exciting. That's going to be next Sunday. And uh, thank you guys for following along. I love you guys. Proud of you. Stay blessed.